Guangzhong, Ni Hao, was for Frank Jones, and just for CIN, Yang Yin, Yang Yu, it's your voice. Jiggly Bai, woman chula iga hanyo chida di fang jiao Kinse Anyera Exposition, and Kinse Anyera, shang ni kai kai ting dao, shi iga moshiga de xiguan. Zai moshiga, iga nianqing de xiao jie, ta bian cheng shi wu sui, yo ta de shi wu sui de birthday. Ta zhi yo iga celebration, and zhi ge celebration de yi si jiu shi ta cong xiao hai de sheng ming dao nian qing de da ren de sheng ming jiu guo qiu. So at the Qin Tsian era, going to become from child to woman, hai yo hen duo xi guan, me xi ge de xi guan, and ni ke yi kan zhe ge, yo tiao wu de, yo ba 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 ne ge shi wu sui de xiao jie, 呃，跟他说 ，OK， 你现在是达人，还有呃，给礼物，把给把礼物给他的呃小妹妹。And、uh, 我们请你陪我们去看 King Sanyera 的 exposition。大家你好，我们跟 Sonia Cavazos， 跟 Stephanie's Bridal。And、uh, Sonia is here at the King Sanyera celebration， 十五岁的 celebration。Stephanie， we like to ask you， can you tell us something about the costume？ Uh, yes, these are actually very non-traditional dresses that I design. Traditional colors are very soft colors.、Uh, now we're starting to design、uh, very bright and vibrant colors for the new seasons, and this is very, very in style right now. So now in Quinceañera, the the,、uh, the custom develops, and they're doing some very new styles. Can you explain to us a little bit about these styles, the new ones? Well, actually, I was inspired by、uh, Mardi Gras. I was inspired by、uh, peacocks. I was inspired by all the animal prints, actually, to bring out new,、um, innovative designs, something very, very different that nobody has ever seen before. Yeah, this gives us a very Hengaoxing the Iga Ganjue, very cheerful feeling, and it's a Xinshi the modern feeling, also used from、uh, Mardi Gras and、uh, animal designs. We like these very much, and、uh, we're going to come back soon and see them. Thank you very much. And today we're here with Sonia Cavazos. She's the owner and designer of Stephanie's Bridal, and she's going to explain to us the significance of the last doll. If you would, yes,、um, the last doll is a Hispanic tradition, and what it is is that the father presents the last doll to his daughter, and it signifies basically that it's the last doll. She's played with dolls all her life. She's going.、Uh, she's changing from being a little girl into a young woman. So she will no longer have the doll, and we also do、um, the change of the heels, which normally they come in with little slippers, and they present them also with their high heels, which is their first set of high heels. Hello, this is Yang Yan Yang Yu, CIN. Ah, I'm now with a very beautiful young girl, Natalie, 14 years old. She's here today to shop for many quinceañera, about quinceañera things. I'm today interviewing her. Hi, Natalie. How are you? Good. You? I'm good. Thanks.、Uh, so today you're shopping around.、Uh, what is it exactly that you're shopping around for? For just anything I can find for my 15. Okay. And、uh, So, what have you looked at so far?、Um, the DJ, the food,、uh, the dresses, the choreographer, and the pictures. Okay. So, 
as I understand it, quinceanera is pretty expensive. Um, so who's paying the bill? My mom. <laughs> okay, do you have a budget? Um, 10000 Okay. Is that pretty normal for a quinceanera? Yeah. Well, it depends on the parents. Okay. Um, have you picked out a color scheme yet? Yeah, it's going to be like a baby blue. Okay. And how long have you been... Uh, when is your quinceanera going to be? April 22nd. And how long have you, uh, when did you start planning for your quinceanera? Like around June. Okay. It takes a year to plan. Okay. Is anyone helping you with the planning? Yeah, like the whole family. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Natalie, 很多家照相馆 Thank <laughs> you.